Oh, this is really embarrassing. I should know how to fix my own car, but thought I'd call you guys just to be safe. What exactly is the problem? And where's your car? First and foremost, I have not lost my car. It's like not lost, because I know where it is, and it's right here. And uh, that's the problem. My dang car turned invisible. <laughs> I know. It's so stupid. I first noticed it when I parked, and I noticed that my car was like a little bit hard to see. But then when I came back, my whole dang car was invisible. And this is totally my fault. I should have called when it was only halfway invisible. Maybe you just lost your car. No, be no, no, because I'm not an idiot. Mm. This is my car and I'm gonna lean on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was left the window open. If you leave your car windows open, you're gonna get birds. Hey, if you hit that button on your key and sound the horn, maybe you can find out where it's parked. Yeah, I tried that. See? Have you tried following the sound of the horn? I'm not a scientist. Can you just fix my car so I can see it and get the bird out of there? I wish I could. Why are you roadside assistance guys always trying to embarrass me? I'm the one guy that doesn't know how to fix his own car. My dad always said, a real man knows how to fix his own car. But he never taught me. He just went out to buy milk one day and turned invisible. I have another call I have to get to. I gotta go, I'm sorry. Ow! It is an invisible car. Yeah. This is the trunk. Here's the back seat window. The back seat? I drive a two-seater. Oh, dang. This isn't my car. I am so sorry. You were right. I lost my dang car. <laughs> At least I didn't lose my keys. Has anyone seen an invisible sedan? Hit that like button, and I'll make Garrett become uninvisible. See? Told you so. Feels good. Feels good to be back. <laughs>